everybody, I'm Renee from Wanna Scrap, and I'm here today to share with you how I put together the uh, cover on this steampunk album using a Dollar Tree small three ring binder. Now, I didn't quite tape the beginning of it, um, but I did just use the stencil here and that LePage's um, stuff for the walls that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then for the spine, I just used some sequin trim and uh, I cut some black lace into bits, into little two pieces of each drop on there, and uh, and put it over the three um, layers that I put on of the um, of the sequin trim. And here I just die cut a ton of um, gears, and some of them I put I tripled them up and doubled them up and some of them I quadrupled it up just to give them different varying heights in the, on the uh, album and I'm just kind of figuring out where I want them and how I want it to go and so I'm putting the bigger pieces down first and uh, just keep gluing and gluing and gluing till you got the look that you want. I had so much fun making this album and I would love to slow down this process for you guys um, however, I need to grow my channel more in order to put out longer videos where it doesn't have to go as fast. However, if you click on the right upper right corner, you are able to slow down videos. So that's a good feature too, because I've had to do that for some videos myself. Or if you want to speed it up, you can speed it up also. And then I did a clock die cut here, and I'm just putting it over that big gear <clears throat> just to add some different depth. And then I uh, paint everything in this black paint and just to get it all on the same level of color because some of the cardstock was heavier or a different black and uh, <clears throat> and here I'm just going ahead and getting some pieces out that I want to use and I'm just trimming off the uh, piece of this metal gear thing here and because uh, I don't want the necklace part or whatever you might use it as a charm. I didn't want that piece on there so I cut it off <clears throat> and then everything I'm just going to go ahead and blacken uh, the metal pieces and the straw I used gesso first let it dry completely before I can color it black and here it is all dry now I'm just using bits and pieces I got in my drawers for anything to do with steampunk or mixed media and so now that this is gesso it'll accept the paint a lot better and I'm just going ahead and doing all that. And then I had a uh, um, gear um, mold there. And so I just made a bunch of uh, gears and clock turners and stuff like that. And I had little screw heads. And I'm just going ahead and still getting everything painted black here. And then I used um, some rub and buff. The color I used was um, autumn gold and I'm just using my finger and you might want to use a glove because this does take a while to come off and when I did some more I put a glove on the next time because it was uh, yeah <laughs> it stays on there for a little while so <laughs> just a heads up <laughs> But yeah, as I was saying, the more I grow my channel, the longer videos I can make. And um, so, yeah, I thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate you. And I love all the positive comments I get. It's really great to know that um, you're liking my content. So now I just kind of place things where I think they might go. And I got an idea. So I'm just removing these top, more top layers. And I love the way the gears turned out in the background. I think it's so cool. Something about steampunk I just love. Now these wooden pieces here, um, from Dollarama, we had bought in, like these little music boxes. And you can make like a piano, a gramophone. So I'm just using pieces from that, the negatives from it. And I thought it worked out really well on this cover. So you never know what you got in your stash, you know. Like, it's, it's great to go through it and just work with what you got, you know, and get creative. It's so much fun. And I'm just clamping some of these pieces down to make sure that they stayed glued.
and you do want to let this all dry really well so now that it's all dry I'm just adding some more pieces in here I just took my time with this project I was in no hurry and uh, I I just had fun with the time that I could get to work on it so <laughs> It's really nice to walk in and go, oh, yeah, I remember doing that. Now let's continue on. And, of course, some E6000 here to get this uh, owl down. And that was a wooden clock I had gotten. And some glossy accents I used to glue down my um, resin pieces. I used all types of glue for everything I used on this album. And here I am going in again with some rub and buff, but this time I'm using gloves because I didn't want to get my hands all stained, even though it's a beautiful color. <laughs> and you just want to give it a good rub everywhere. <clears throat> and I just built up the bottom on some of my resin pieces because I didn't sand anything down, so... I just made sure everything was glued in place really well. And I'm just seeing where this little dragonfly lands on the album. So I only have so much to glue it onto, so you just want to be mindful of that when you are gluing. And some of these resin bolts I uh, cut in half and um, just put over the straw as if there were clamps around the pipes. It came out so cool. I love this. And of course I'm using a Dollar Tree sticker. And I have cats so sometimes fur gets around. I try to get it all off. <laughs> I'm sure other people have that problem too. But you gotta love the fur babies. <laughs> and now I'm getting some metal pieces glued down in there. <clears throat> I was going to paint them all black and uh, do the same thing. But I kind of like the... Uh, extra added color. I may go back in at some point and change it before I use this album or decide what I'm going to do with it. But um, right now I, I like the different colors. All the different metals. And I'm just having fun getting everything in there. Just deciding where I want things to go. I put little gears. Um, it was nail art I had bought. In, and they're little gears. So I put them in the owl's eyes. And that metal clock I put in the middle of his um, belly there. And I'm just using some E6000 with a little brush. Put another little gear in the middle of that clock. And some clock hands. Yeah, this is, I just love being creative. And I'm already starting another one. However, my time is limited to work on it. So it is a process to get my videos out. <clears throat> but I do put them out. So if you don't want to miss anything, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and um, enjoy the videos. So we're just getting everything glued down. I'm just um, building up some other areas and just seeing where I need that little pop of color a little bit more. I hope everybody's doing well and having fun crafting and getting inspired here. I love watching everybody's video too. It's so nice to get inspired by everybody. You're all so talented. It's amazing. And getting one of these dollar store wooden pieces down. Yeah, it's just reassessing the situation and keep looking at what you're building on and just looking for em any empty spots that you might want to 
put stuff in. Like I didn't quite use everything I had pulled out and uh, some things I did use that I didn't pull out in the beginning. So you just never know what you get. <laughs> it's just so fun to be creative. So yeah, we're getting near the end here. Just getting everything put on. I like how all the colors tie it all in together. Put your little light bulb in. Putting the screws down. And that's going to be my closure, that arrow. So I'm just using a filigree here to put down on top of the arrow. And then in my molds, I had made a key, but I cut the head of the key off because I'm going to put a gear there instead. And I'm just putting some glue down and using that bottom half of the key. And then grabbing a gear, and I build up a couple of gears to use as the head of the key. And I think it just turned out so awesome. I love the autumn gold all over this album. It really makes it... I, I just love it. It gives it that nice right amount of grunge, but yet some class. And I just really love how this album turned out. I love these resin pieces, the uh, clock keys. I'm just adding a few more pieces. Even this key was from a uh, canned ham can, <laughs> or yeah, used the key to uh, open it up. So I just cleaned it up and then painted it up and it's another nice addition to the album. And just a little bit more rub and buff here. And I'm just adding some trim to the uh, to the binding here. I just topped it up with some lace. It kind of looked that metal-y kind of color, so I like the contrast it added. And it kind of ties it all in together too. And then I had like this metallic rope and uh, it was kind of coppery looking, so I knew I had to add that piece too. And on the back of the cover, I'm just using some Dollar Tree stickers and I just Glue them down. And I'm just going to add my trim in here first. And that's about it, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you have a great day. And uh, thanks for watching. It's great having you here. Bye for now.